So this is a challenge, it's a competition. So we have objective scoring criteria and the team that scores the best in the competitions will win. We have the systems competition, the virtual competition, and the data competition. In the systems competition, here we're mocking up mass casualty scenes in a physical setting with actors and mannequins and environmental effects. Teams will need to develop robotic systems, drones or ground robots, and those are equipped with various types of sensors, audio or camera or thermal, whatever they want, as long as it can operate from a distance and doesn't require contact with a casualty. When their system finds a casualty and assesses their injuries, the system files a casualty report and transmits it to the DARPA command post where teams will be evaluated on how accurately they assess features of these casualties that a medic would want to know about, and they'll get more points for evaluating more of these casualties correctly during the allotted time. Now in the virtual competition, the scoring is the same. The difference is that these scenarios happen in a virtual setting. And so competitors will submit their solutions and will run their solutions against scenarios that they haven't already trained on in the DARPA Triage Challenge virtual test bed. In the data competition, we're providing access to data from real trauma patients, rich de-identified data, and we're going to evaluate the teams on how well their algorithms can predict the life-saving interventions that these patients actually needed. And we're doing this in a way that simulates how these algorithms would work in an actual scenario. So we want algorithms that can work in real time on raw sensor data. Beyond identifying the winners, we hope that this challenge will identify which technologies are more useful in different types of situations and that that knowledge will ultimately uh, turn into solutions that responders could use.